Hey everyone, Tala here, Tutorial Tuesday. I'm going to try to bring these back to you guys. Um, this is a quick tutorial on how to create a create fonts, take your font that you've typed out and make it look like chalkboard, chalk, you know, chalkboard writing, chalk writing. Um, the font that I found was FB Buttercream and it's free online, you can Google it. Um, I, I liked it because I thought, oh, it looks more whimsical, like I might have drawn it on the chalkboard. Um, my chalkboard background, sorry, it's mine. Um, I have walls and doors and things painted with chalkboard, and then I photograph them and use them as my stock. So that's something you could do at home, pretty easy, or you could buy some stock um, chalkboard. <clears throat> so what I did was I, I found the font, and I typed out what I wanted to type. For this instance, I'm just going to use my name. Um, and I am going to on the particular font, so say you've done like a whole invitation or something and your client loves it or whoever loves it and you decide that you know this is perfect and I want to use this as is. You're going to right click on your layer that has that font on it and you're just going to choose rasterize type and that's going to make it so you can no longer make edits So make sure everything looks perfect and everything is spelled right before you do anything. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is come up under filter, noise, add noise. and I'm going to zoom in actually, I want to look a little bit closer. So filter, noise, add noise, and um, that looks pretty good. I have it at about 35, um, you, know, you, can go, you can go more or less depending on what you're looking for. Um, so I'm going to hit OK, I'm going to hit OK there, and um, what I'm going to do next is stroke the layer. So I'm just going to double click on my layer. And when the layer style palette comes up, I'm going to click on stroke. And um, under fill type, I'm going to choose pattern. And then I'm going to click on this arrow next to that funny looking bubbly pattern. I'm going to choose parchment just because it gives it a little bit more of that look to it. Um, depending on the size, you can, you can scale um, your particular um, pattern that you put in there. Um, that's going to always vary depending on what size of your font. So you may want to change that if not. So I chose parchment and the way you can do that is if you click on this and if all you see are, are the actual icons, if you click on this little arrow, you can um, choose how you want to view it, a list or the thumbnail. Anyway, so I'm going to hit OK. And I'm going to um, now on this layer, I'm going to right click and choose Whoops, I'm sorry. On, where it says stroke, I'm going to right click and choose hello, uh, create layer down here under global light. And that's going to put the stroke on its own layer. And basically, what I'm going to do on that one is choose filter, blur, Gaussian blur. And I'm going to just blur that a little bit there. I'm going to do it about a 0.5. And I think I'm going to try, I'm going to just see. If I blur, Gaussian blur my actual font, that helps make it a little bit more uh, fuzzy. And I think I'll do a little bit less on that one. I don't want it to be too much. Maybe about a 0.3. Alright, so that looks really good as is. So now I'm going to merge those two layers together. And what <coughs> my next step is going to be is kind of giving a little bit more of a realistic look to it. And that's going to be choosing my eraser tool. And under my uh, brushes for the erasers, I'm going to choose a chalk. Um, and if you can't find that, come up under here and uh, look up uh, your brushes here. Uh, might be for finish where it is. You might want to play around to find that one. But I'm going to come under here and make sure my opacity is down to about 39 ish, something like that, and get my brushes. And I'm just going to kind of, you know, it's, it's your call how you make it look. Um, you could do it different ways. Um, you may want to do one opacity to start. Um, just, you know, and if you don't like something, just undo it. Um, another thing you do is duplicate your layer so that if you've done this and you're like, whoa, I don't like the way that looks, you've got your other layer still there. Um, and then I'm just going to come in and do a little bit lower. Um, and just because then it looks a little bit more realistic that way. Um, and I'm doing this fast for tutorial sake. You know, this is going to be, you know, take your time and make it look good. Um, I think that, I mean, that looks good for the sake of our tutorial right now. Um, so the next thing I'm going to do is create a few eraser marks. And I'm just going to select on my chalkboard and create a new layer right above that. Go ahead and name it. 
Um, and then I'm going to come over here to my paintbrush and I'm going to choose my chalkboard again. Keep my opacity low. Make sure I've set on white. And I'm just going to start coming in and doing something like this. Now I can come over here and choose my opacity, make it a little bit lower. The next step I think I'll do is just create a new layer above it um, and try another one and just kind of go over that because I want to kind of create more realistic layers like there's been a lot of stuff erased on this. Um, and you could come over here and change it as an overlay and then reduce that opacity. And there it kind of gives you a little bit more uh, realistic look to it. And if you really wanted to do that, you could blur and Gaussian blur that so it gets even more of that kind of look to it. But that's it. That's the gist of it all. It's really easy. Um, I hope you can find some use for it.